I went in. Hi. And I had my mammogram. Bring you up here to the board. And they saw some microcalcifications. Is that okay for you? 15 years ago, Pat Hagen had a callback. That's when the doctor needs further testing. In her case, she needed a breast biopsy. The uh, pathology report came back that it was okay. But because of that, it raised a little awareness in my mind of, boy, I dodged a bullet. I better be careful here and do my self-breast exams. Just eight months later, during a self-exam, she noticed a lump. She got a mammogram and then was told she needed a breast ultrasound. I did schedule an appointment with a surgeon, and the minute that I went to the surgeon and she felt the lump, she said, Patricia, this really needs to be biopsied. Waiting for the results of another biopsy wasn't easy. I waited in the room and the doctor came in and she said, I have to tell you that you do have breast cancer. So I was overwhelmed, of course, and she said, I believe we caught it early. Uh, however, I don't think that we got all of the invasive tissue from the tumor. So that will require another surgery, which we call a lumpectomy. It's estimated that each year, more than 200,000 women in the U.S. hear the news that their breast cancer's been caught. Early detection means survival. Breast radiologist Priscilla Wallace specializes in searching through her patient's images, looking for cancer. Every day, she thinks. They did the right thing. They got their mammogram, and it could be nothing. But it was definitely scary. Today, Pat says she's more dedicated to getting mammograms because of that first false alarm. I have two daughters, and they're both in their 40s. So I speak to them often about make sure that you get your yearly mammograms now that there is a history, and it is your mother. So please be diligent.